It's an especially difficult time of year for the family of a slain police chief. Nearly two years ago, Chief Randy Lacey was gunned down inside his patrol car. But now, his loved ones are overcoming their grief and trying to help one of Lacey's dreams come true. Dave Spencer is in Clay City with details in our top story at 5. It's always been a dream of Chief Randy Lacey to open a restaurant after he retired from the police force. And today, his dream came true. Unfortunately, he wasn't here to see it. Tomorrow will mark two years since Chief Randy Lacey was shot and killed in his own police cruiser. Tough time for our family. Tough time for me. It's still very fresh in everybody's mind. But today, the Lacey family is busy marking a new beginning, the opening of a restaurant in Randy Lacey's honor. Because he was such a good cook, everybody in the county knew what a great cook he was. And now everyone in the county and beyond has a chance to eat at his restaurant and talk about a man who meant so much to his community. To meet with people and communicate, and uh, visit friends, and so I think this is good that it's opening again. The Lacey family came up with this idea, and soon everyone was chipping in whatever way they could to make it a reality. My wife won't let me in the kitchen, so uh, I'm, I'm uh, trying to mop floors and wait on table. Most of all, the Lacey family is trying to smile and turn a terrible tragedy into a dream come true. He's always uh, courteous and friendly and helpful. And that's the way his family says he'd want to be remembered. And Chester Lacey says if today was any indication of the restaurant's success, it'll be here for a long, long time. Powell County, Dave Spencer, WKYT 27 News First. And the Lacey family says while they hope the restaurant is successful, its purpose is to bring the Powell County community together.